front door is locked and your phone is switched off. It's match time. And nothing can come in the way of a head coach and his blood bowl. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Welcome back to the Sage Streaming Blood Bowl 2. Hi, people. Uh, we've got a game for you in the Orca Cola Championship. I should probably have a look at the leaderboard. I have no idea how poorly we're doing. 3 1 2, with the top being 4 2 1. So we technically have a chance at that spot. Our current game will not get us that. So we'd have to do better. I mean, if we win this, we're in second place. And it's not fully in our own hands because. Uh, <sighs> The, uh, the Dark Elves are in control of their own destiny. But it's worth playing for. So we should induce a wizard in this game. Um, the reason we need a wizard is because we don't have strip ball. We have tackle on both dancers. This guy's also got agility, a sidestep, and frenzy. Uh, pretty healthy team, actually. Ten players and a full bank. Um... And we have three rerolls plus leader, which means we could technically drop a reroll and still have two plus leader. But I think I'll stick with uh, with this for now. So the chaos we're facing, and the reason we need a wizard is they have a strength four, agility four, blodge ball carrier. Yeah, that's not great, is it? Um, it's not a super scary team. I mean, their mino is scary because tentacles and block. Uh, they have one Mighty Blow Tackle, not with Block, but with Wrestle. Uh, they have another Claw, but it's on a Beastman. Um, another Mighty Blow here. You know, I've seen scarier ones. It's a lot of Agility 4, although one of them is sitting the match out. If it wasn't, I would have a Wizard already. Is it worth... Is it really worth it, though? I'm gonna... I'm gonna probably go up anyway. Maybe I should save my money. I mean, winning Division 2. Yeah, let's grab a wizard. Sure. So, uh, it's not like my woodies are usually rich or anything, so this is actually a little bit scary. So yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh, it's cold in here. I'm going to actually turn the heat on. Beep, 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 beep. There. That should be enough to keep me from freezing. Uh, yeah, let's kick first. We do not put the tree on the line. We do not put three guys close to the tentacles. Yeah, this makes sense to me. So yeah, Kiniwa stands a good chance of uh, <coughs> dying here. Yeah. Wizard helps a bunch, of course. Especially with two Agility Fives able to do stuff. Hey there, welcome. Oh. Oh, this is not going to be a thing for too much longer because I get to go back to my own house for streaming in the hopefully near future. Hmm. So yeah, this guy is pretty scary. Just because strength five tentacles is quite hard to get away from. <laughs> hey there, Prof. 
Don't worry, my home is actually also kind of a nice place to stream from. I will be bringing the lamp with me, don't worry. It'll probably be further from the camera, though. Then again, you get the actual projection pattern thing it does again. Tackle guy in the back. Okay. Fine by me. Agility guy actually. Oh, aha. That makes more sense. Because this is this is this guy is made to carry on, right? He does seem to have a niggle. Uh oh, I was clicking that. Oh, there we go. Yeah, he does. Oh, it's a minus. Oh, he has plus minus movement. Okay. My bad. My bad. Well, nice and expensive then. So we have kick. I guess this corner makes the most sense. Keep it close if we can. That's not a blitz. Yeah, pretty shitty kick. <clears throat> I really hope this guy rolls uh, Mighty Blow. It's been so long since I've had Mighty Blow on anything but the tree. This team actually had two Mighty Blows piling on at some point. That was kind of cool, though. Ah, Kiniwa lives! So far, so good. There was a niggle though. Yeah, that's the one. Okay. So that's who we're punching, if it comes to that. I've, uh, I've never seen it before, no. Oh, the Mino is not feeling it. That's good. We like that. The team's record. I know it was less than 50%. Uh, <coughs> not exactly. Oh, hi, Calf. What's wrong? Tell me. And welcome. No! I'm a Lendil. Boink. Well, oh, he's fine. One, two, three, four, five would make sense, right? Hmm. Okay, three die blitz, no mighty blow though. And this guy's fine too. Probably not getting up. Because I don't feel like getting a <laughs> mighty blow punched around. And since I can't dodge, I'd be giving up an extra weapon. That's cute. He's definitely rerolling that, right? I mean, if he doesn't, that's my ball. Oh, okay. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Punch onto the ball. The jelly guy goes and gets it. Okay, okay. Cool, cool. Good stuff. Oh, good use of the dodge skill there. Yes. He found a way not to have the niggle punch. Yeah, that's true. Let's see, what's the range on this guy? Fine. Can we get through here? Because if he goes around, that's a bit meh. If we grab it on the dancer, we're going to get the dancer punched. I'm not a super big fan of that idea. Yeah, let's do that actually.
Okay, so we have the ball. That's good. The catcher does need leap. Oh yes, he certainly does. This one can get up now. This one... I think you're nice to keep it busy. <sighs> oh, fuck, calf. I'm sorry. Yeah, thrower's not awful. You worse. First dodge is good. Do we want to make another to go here? Sure. Let's go here. Yes. So I'd have to make a dodge. Dodge GFI to get there. Or this one could get there without the GFI. Wait. Yeah. I think I'm okay with tagging that guy with the catcher. Oh, I miscounted. Well, let's just be here then. With the catcher. This one's a bit scary. Yes. Okay, that's good. <coughs> Dodge is good. Oh, that's snakes, isn't it? Boink. Only one more day of this bullshit. Unless you call in sick. Just saying. What are they going to do? Fire you? Yeah. Would have been nice to get um, Lothan Wee to tag the Mighty Blow Tackle. True, true, Jeff. I mean, <clears throat> the dancer's still standing for now, so that's uh, that's kind of okay. So if this could just like not knock down. Oh wow! Putting the tentacles on the ball, I guess. Although, if he makes this block, the tentacles are not on the ball anymore. Well, with the boat down, they could be. Four, five, needs two assists to make it a three die. I mean, I get how he wants the tentacles in, but <clears throat> given how he could block here and then actually it's my good dancer with my blow tackle and wrestle to take the ball down that would have been my pick And you bloody well deserve it, Calf. Four, five, six. So one more assist to get the three dying. Uh. 
I'm really surprised he chose not to reroll that pickup. I mean, you're facing two movement eight agility five players, one of which also has leap. Not the time to be stringy with your rerolls on pickups. Sure, get a two die. Gets it on the guy that goes down to block. Kiniwa is still fine though. So that's nice. The three die actually works now. That's interesting. He still has that guy and he has the reroll. I'm gonna go for the side that has the tentacles instead of the side that has the agility five. Okay. Okay. Could be worse, I suppose. There is guard on the frenzy here, but not there. So two assists could do the trick. Can we bring those in? Or we go for a one die. Oh, that's good. Wow. So what we can do, wait, if I try to escape the tentacles on the blitz, that won't actually help because the, end, the action will end. What I can do is make the blitz without the tackle. That sounds like a better idea. Oh, we escaped the tentacles. That is so good. That is so very, very good. Because now this guy can come in. Blitz the ball. Yes. Let's not follow. Oh, wait, we can follow that because that's not where the tentacles live. want to get him surfed, but I guess this spot's actually kind of okay. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, that's acceptable. Kind of knew that might be coming. We want to do anything with any of these. I mean, this guy is better off there. Tents do work against leap, yes. That was one sad... <laughs> slong catcher who discovered that when he was stuck on a piece of Nurgle. Here's the deal. Three. We'll try this. Nope, we do not escape the tentacles. That's okay, because then this guy can do it. But that is a bit rough because there is tackle on this. So that's a three plus two plus two plus. But we can't go in here. And around is probably too far, right? Yeah, so through it is. Okay, there goes the reroll. Oh, he made it! Nice! 
big shoes to feel Eki. Certainly living up to his name. Okay, so we have a wizard. We have 10 players and we have a touchdown. A 5-5 five, five draw, that's um, ambitious. <laughs> Hi there, uh, Breshtling? Breshtling, welcome. Yeah, so far so good. Yeah, I remember not knowing that tentacles worked against Leap and then moving in to snatch up a ball with an Agility 5 slung catcher and then wanting to jump out and, well, that didn't work, you know. Yeah, I'm still okay with this spot. Okay, that's interesting. Let's go with that one. And a blitz now, please. Throw a rock on... Oh, it's merely a stun, but who was that? That was the Strength 4 Blodge guy. Okay. How's the fame situation? He actually... No, we have zero fame. Hey there, Vonka. Welcome. Hmm. Should be playing versus Crendor tomorrow. Still awaiting absolute confirmation of times and such, but uh, that looked to be the most promising night. My silly Startscaven versus his somewhat uh, handicapped uh, lizards. <clears throat> Probably with a wizard, I guess? Yes. Just push. Double skulls. Nope. Oh, three guys? Oh, this guy has guard. Yeah. Aha! Sturdy journeyman. Remake week one. Doge guy actually getting smacked with the tackle now. Not that he needs it, because that's how. Surviving mighty blow. Wish, wish, wish. Who's gonna pick up? The agility guy isn't. Strength guy isn't. So a rookie. Ah, okay. That's good. Okay, Gith door getting mighty blow blitz. It's also fine. After the first game, that's well. I mean, the 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 sooner you do it, the the fewer SDP you're giving away in the process, right? So I can see choosing to use that up early. This time he does manage to pick up. We could actually choose to try a steal here without even using up the, uh, the wizard. I think I shall. Three, 
Yep. I shall indeed. So, one die with Frenzy out there. Good, that's not snakes. Let's start here. Leap there. That's good. One die's bad. Reroll's good. Acceptable. Uh, how far can this catcher go? The tentacles are a bit iffy. We could go through there, I suppose. No, that's tackle, so let's stay here. Okay, that's nice. Got a KO on a rookie. Not a big deal, but still helpful. Two tackle zones on the ball. How's his movement? Because he hasn't used dodge, which means he could just go in here. But that might block other plans a little bit. No, that's not. Keeping him out back is not that bad an idea, I suppose. So this would be 3 plus 3 plus. This could be done with just twos, but we'd lose a lot of distance and we don't have a reroll for the GFIs. There's a three there too. Is it worth keeping this busy for now? I suppose so. And it's also worth disconnecting this, even though it's scary. Or do we want to keep him as a safety? Yeah, sure. Whew, this is rough. Good. Oh. GFI is a stun. Hmm, that's a bit sad. So no tackle zone on the ball, agility four standing right next to it. Meh. Free mighty blow punch against the journeyman. <laughs> it was fine. I do like Mooger actually. Yeah. Team is quite okay, really. I did set, spend 60k out of my treasury to get a wizard, which we're not even sure we're gonna need. It's 
So yeah, my plan was actually to take the ball and chuck it like in that corner. Yeah, it's silly. It won't let you path over the square that you start off in. Oh, that's the other Jelly Warrior. Well, good thing I kept some guys back, I guess. <sighs> Block, so I'll be... Can you are hanging in there, though. Is he going to 3-die blitz that? Looks like he's going to 3-die blitz that. There's no way I can escape it being a 3-die either. <clears throat> but I can go on the ball, which is kind of cool. Oh, ooh. So, where do we go now? So yeah, strength four carrier. Oh, he's going to blitz the tree? He's going to blitz the tree. Well, I can't blame him. Ooh. <laughs> I like that. That is good. That is good. So if our tree blocks, we have room for two assists. Which means that even Strength Fort Lodge is not technically safe, is it? Which means we don't technically need to use the wizard just now, do we? So that's a 3 plus. We like that guy there. Because <laughs> he means we can go from here. Oh, we'd have to dodge it here. Go there. Flip here. Yeah. Three plus. Yes. So right now.
I think I'll just touch it up. Go. Let's just go. Good. So that's a four plus four plus two plus to get through. That's kind of nice. Yeah, let's try that. Oh well, <gasps> worth a shot. <laughs> We're out of rerolls though. So yeah, we kind of need him not to pow for a turn. And he does have rerolls himself. But at least we're far away from the wrestle tackle guy. And if he does pow, he still needs to pick it up. But we gave him a clear shot here. Pretty much. Okay, that's good. Yeah, <clears throat> 10 versus 10 this far into the first half feels pretty sweet. That makes a lot of sense. Lock these guys in a little bit. Okay, here comes the blitz. That's not a pal. He's going to reroll it. That is a pal. Do we bank on surviving the armor roll? I want to bring it closer to Kuba right here. Good. Reroll spent, and that's actually a great bounce for us. Yeah, okay. I did not like getting anywhere near the wrestle tackle. Making him need a pow is better than making him need a three plus dodge. This one couldn't have covered that, so I would have still... <clears throat> the catcher would have been on his own. Chucking it to the other side of the pitch was a fair shout, uh, Clicken. I, um... I considered it. I also considered ch chucking it to that catcher who was in two tackle zones. Catch on a 4 plus with reroll. Run off. I, I've, I decided to trust in the blodge. Thank <laughs> you. 
decides not to go for the pickup this turn, which means he's probably not scoring next turn. Which means he might have a chance to do the wizard thing still. The armor break does suck a bit, yeah. <clears throat> Fall! Fall! Okay. I think we're gonna blitz that guy with the tree, actually. Two, four, six, eight. My nose far away. So here it works just fine. We can knock him onto the ball though. We should probably try that too. This guy's kind of locked in. He wants to stand up even if we don't. One die is good. Really good. So let's see if it goes up. Yeah. Another KO. Lovely. Well, fuck. Do we have a snowball's chance of blitzing that? Technically we do. So one die, it's pretty bad. Which means... Means we're not blitzing that either. Yeah, as throw-ins go, that was pretty bad. I mean, the difference between winding up here or there is pretty, pretty relevant. Did I just snake that? I just snake that. Yeah, Rata, thank you for the resub. Lovely. Uh, uh, two into two is fine for the pickup, too. But yeah, that throw-in was um, not good for us, no. If the Mino could stay down, that would be nice. Okay, that guy does not have dodge. Well, at least we're probably not getting surfed here. Mino wants to blitz, doesn't. I mean, good news, bad news. That one could have done worse things, <laughs> like turnover things.
And if he manages to pick up, he has to score, obviously, which would mean that we are still looking at three turns for our touchdown. Okay. Okay. Brave. Very brave. Surfable too. I mean, it's a one die with two GFIs, but still. Is there a claw hiding here? That's not a bit of my no. Oh, well, that's good. Can't all that. Which means this guy could make a single GFI, and then we're looking at a two die. That's the claw, so we're not touching that. down, right. What do we want with this guy? Turn six, and we're gonna still down. This is fine, this is scary. Chester! Thank you! That's not good. Yeah, we will try this. Hokiniwa! Well, that's one way to stall. Fuck! <laughs> nice one, Hercules. Oh well, not enough rerolls. Too much action this drive, I guess. This half. Nah. No. I'd rather have the wizards for second half. Exactly, can anyone? And it's not that, it's not even that, this was not a bad situation to be in. If I had a reroll, I still wouldn't make that play. Simply because I had a good surf, and in order to capitalize on the wizard, I'd probably still need two GFIs. Or, I would definitely still need two GFIs. Okay, pals are happening. Pals are happening, good players are going down. He still has his blitz, which he could use here, for example. Honestly, I'd probably score on this guy. No, I do think this was the better play. And this turn was always going to rely on a bunch of 2 plus rolls, whether I wizarded or not. <clears throat> yeah, 1-1 one, one on his half 
while the wizard's still intact is definitely not that bad. <laughs> minimum of two squares from here. This is zero. This is not zero. This is zero. So the minimum it could go is here and then bounce back there. Technically, it could bounce onto me and then I'd fail to catch it and then it bounces onto him. But by that time, we would have to also roll both down for him to even still be there. Well, that's exciting. If he scores, I can actually tutor. He chooses not to! can almost get to the ball. We don't really want to surf that guy, do we? <laughs> yeah, you should have. Jeez. Thrower is probably going to be our backup to sub threat. Right? Okay, that's good. Didn't really want to GFI there. I think this guy's just standing up as Yeah, he is. So I could have done that before, technically. Don't want to give him the three guy there. As well. Now this is without a reroll, and this is a 3+, plus, and that's my only touchdown threat. His chance of scoring is really slim, so I think I'd rather go for that one right now. Yes. Two, four, six, seven. Ooh, there goes the one. Okay, good, good. Now how I'd like this to be is that if he knocks me down, which he has some chance at, he can't really go and snatch it, right? He's not gonna come through here. Two, three, four, five, six, eight. I don't want it to go here because then it could bounce there. So I think actually this is my best spot. Can't go out. You can't snatch it with anyone. Yeah, makes the most sense to me. Should have checked it. Nah, I should not have checked the CB Jelly 5 because he's pretty invincible. Yeah. 
Hey there, Inwe. The first half has been very interesting. It's 1-0. I was kicking. I still have my wizard and I have the ball. I've lost one player. He's got three KOs. So, yeah. Yeah. So far, so good. I don't have a reroll. I started with four, three plus leader, but uh, uh, this guy's only badly hurt. Yeah, he's fine. He is a okay. My team has taken a beating. Oh! Uh, I did. I did. Well, thank you. <sighs> Notifications for Patreon are sometimes weird, but that is very much appreciated. Uh, let's see. So a handoff to Lothanwi, who, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Hang on, hang on. <laughs> Too much stuff going on at once. Whoa. Rata, thank you. And uh, I don't feel comfortable calling people out by their real names if that's not what they signed up as, but assuming that's you, Hercules, thank you as well. <laughs> so we can blitz this. Oh, that's, uh, oh, hey! oops. We can blitz this, but it wouldn't, no. That's fine. So get there. We could actually punch that guy along the way as well. Hey. First, let's do this. Good. So that gives us the handoff here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. If that was a push-push, I had Frenzy. Yeah, I'm actually going to try for this one. Okay, no. So then that becomes pretty shitty. So then we'll go for the catcher instead. So that's a 3 plus pass, 2 plus cash with reroll. <coughs> oh, catch does it! Woo! Nice! 2 nil, and we still have a wizard. <clears throat> this one is going pretty well. Now I feel silly for buying that wizard in the first place. I spent 60k of my hard-earned treasury on that. Thank you to all of my patrons for helping make this channel possible. Would you like players named after you too? Then you can become a patron via the link below. Treasury on that.
Two out of two KOs. Two out of four KOs come back, which is perfectly fair, of course, but it does mean I actually also outnumber him. Uh, I did not put the tree on the line of scrimmage, no. I mean, he's got Strength 5, Claw, Mighty Blow, Frenzy. Uh, I'm I'm not put With Block, I'm not putting my tree on the line. I had one guy here, one guy there, one guy there to prevent them from all getting stuck on the tentacles. I had the tree here to, uh, to be able to position wherever the Claw was not. Keep people busy. Well, they start with Frenzy in web, but uh, <clears throat> without block, it's a bit scarier for him to choose to commit that. Then again, this Mino uh, rolled double skulls against my tree and knocked itself over. That helped a lot, actually. That, uh, that was quite nice. Does he realize he's setting up? Oh, I suppose he does. <laughs> I was just about to remind him, yeah. Hey there, Carmack. Thank you for bringing your uh, <coughs> your uh, infamous luck <laughs> to the stream. So yeah, outnumbering him is like ridiculous, of course. Yeah, that guy's a bit annoying. I don't like him. And of course, this guy can surf anywhere. That's a juicy target, though. So yeah, scoring fast is not something we mind doing in this situation. Would be nice to give some SPP to that catcher, or actually to the Tackle Dancer. Even better. We're gonna Blitz with the Frenzy. And do we want to punch that? Not especially. No. I mean, it's got Armor 9. Well, I'm on offense. So if the dancer's here, we'd have to cover that up there. Yeah. Yeah, this will do. Ah, an extra reroll. Oh, oh, uh, yeah. Okay. I mean, let's not shed a gift horse in the mouth. Yeah. Two, four, six, eight. Fine, that's what the frenzy is for, right? Okay, 
it, but I'm there. And then we go in here. Alright, alright, fair enough. I guess that would have been slightly better, but one, two, three, four, five, yeah. This is good, this is all good. So, at least we're not really surfable, the ball's not really blitzable. Some vital players are blitzable, but you know, that's uh, that's just how that works, right? So we have a two die here, and if that had been successful, we would have had a three die there. But sadly, it was not. Yeah, I started off with three, have leader, so that makes four. And uh, I got one from kickoff events. Well, now he's on the tree, and I get to move. I like this better. So yeah, if he puts tentacles on the ball, I might have handoff options. <clears throat> if he doesn't, I definitely have handoff options. Hmm. Yeah, originally I would have liked to, s to score on Corvain, but with the ball winding up in the hands of Furmonger, that just didn't seem practical. He hasn't had a turn yet, Diog. Yeah, Nurgle are definitely more disgusting. Kind of by design, that's their thing. Okay, so I guess we're gonna get the tentacles blitzing in. Makes sense. That's pretty surfable. Yeah, here it comes. Three dice, no pow. But he doesn't really mind the push, right? Since it gets him onto the ball. Two dice, no pow. He's going to take another push. Are you pondering what I'm pondering? <laughs> Thank you, Hercules. <clears throat> I don't think we're going to do that. I think it's too much work. Hey, Calf, welcome home. I'm glad you made it at a reasonable hour, despite being off work so late. And yes, we are winning. We are absolutely winning. So ideally, I'd like to score here on this guy, but that would be a two die into a one die and still some risk. Then again, if we do this, okay. let's see if we happen to be able to get out the way with the tentacles. Nope, that's fine. This was just in case, because then we could have pushed him there. That's kind of bad. So that doesn't leave us with a lot. This is two dice into one dice, so I guess we'll take that good. And then this is a one die. 
Fine. Would have been lovely to get a removal there. Uh, we're not going to make that three die blitz, so we'll just walk it in. Okay. Good turn. <laughs> nice. Okay. Corvain, thank you for the resub. So yeah, we still have 10. Uh, he has 11 again. Setup still makes sense to me, really. Still have the bolt for the 4 nil. Five rerolls for... Counting is hard. Six turns. Let's see if he's silly. Uh, badly hurt, Kligan. Uh, Just a badly hurt. Well, we still have the wizard. We still like this corner. Further from the principles is better. Blitz! <laughs> now, if you keep if you keep making the touchdowns, then at some point you're gonna get blitzes, right? That's claw. That's claw. We don't want to go there. Then again, this is actually kind of okay. Four, so three, four, five. Let me that. Not scary because frenzy. Not so scary as to re-roll that, of course. Okay, that's good. I will take the boat down in this case. Do we want to put him... Oh, no, wait. Uh-huh. Why did that end my turn? Shouldn't I have another GFI? Okay, weird. Uh, could just put the thrower under there. You're here. Good. Hey. Or... No, we put the catcher under there. Uh, I didn't need a GFI for the first hit. That's why I was surprised. I don't think I did, at least. Sure. Keep him busy. Why not? I did? Okay, maybe, maybe I was mistaken. Probably. If he punches this, then he gets that free. But I'm not really willing to feed my dancer to that either. Why no pass? Because the ball hasn't landed yet, team. <laughs> the ball is still up in the air. This is where it's coming down. Yep, using the agility 5 made me catch it. <laughs> it's okay, dude. You're relatively new. 
And you did great at the World Cup. I mean, it's fine. I still had catch. Yep, I did. But if I had put the thrower there, which was the plan I was considering, I would not have had catch or agility 5, and I would have failed on that too. Okay, fair enough. At least that claw is not targeting the, uh, the tree now, I suppose. Which is why I was willing to put the tree there, because I figured he probably would... Are we going to see a three die into two die blitz? We are. And the three die is not good enough. And here, the anti-assist from the Dancer comes into play. He could have prevented that beforehand, and it would have been three into three. And that's just a push. Does get the tentacles all over us, and does give him another punch there, which kill still can keep me on the tentacles. But yeah, that's the Blitz not knocking the ball down. Good stuff. This is two dice because strength two. That's fair enough. I actually expected him to blitz me onto... Oh, Kiniwa! I really shouldn't, should I? I really shouldn't. Nope. No, 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 no. <clears throat> I mean, honestly, having two journey elves for the line is not that much of a problem. Exactly. Exactly that, yes. I mean, money is important, but not that important. Yeah, those are a bit of a problem. Oh, here comes the pow! No, 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 no. no. Yes, they prevent you moving out on a leap as well. Oh, 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 okay. Three GFIs is a lot. Yes, <laughs> I've answered that question four times this stream, I think. <sighs> okay, that makes that plan I was going for less appealing anyway. So he goes here. But we don't really have anyone who can... So if this guy goes there, then how do we make that to die? <laughs> mm. 
I mean, I guess we can just chain the tentacles themselves off. And this handoff isn't even that scary afterwards. Yeah, let's just go with that then. I'm still on my jelly five, which is kind of yeah. Okay, at least they're not surfable. Let's try this one now, I guess. Yeah, figures. Well, that sucks. Uh, did I have blitz? Yeah, I did. For the chain. It's one, two, four, six. Sure. Good. Wrench down the claw here, follow shore. Oh, good point, good point. I forgot about the rerolls. My bad. My bad entirely. Yeah, I could have actually just shot the, uh, <clears throat> uh, shot the lightning bolt at it. I considered that too. He's on 11, so getting him to 12 could make a difference if it turns out that passing is the better option. So we score on our 12, hopefully, which should mean we have four turns to get our um, <clears throat> wizard touchdown in for the 5 nil. Okay. Dancer goes down. At least this one doesn't have Mighty Blow on it. Let's stay clear of both the easy foul and the tentacles, shall we? Very clear of the easy foul of the tentacles. That's how we roll. Hmm. Best player safe, though, so that's good. Yeah, it will, a little bit. I mean, <laughs> this game is, uh... <laughs> true, true. There are games that are so awful that you wind up being glad. He really likes blitzing with that Mino. Well, I guess a handoff to the thrower seems pretty likely by now. Because there's tentacles on my dancer. Oh, God. Yeah. 
Well, I guess he's got agility five and only a single tackle zone on him. It's the icky. Lightning that might know why? Why would I do a thing like that? I'd rather score the five nil with that. Okay, that's a little bit annoying. Then again, that's a one die to get free. Quite acceptable. <sighs> Dodge here. Two die that. Pass there. Yeah. I have a plan. Oh, that's a one die you get. Okay, that's fine, that's fine. Uh, this guy's a scoring rage, right? Uh, almost. Now it's two dice again. Uh, good enough, I guess. Three plus. So we have the wizard for the five nil. <laughs> and we get our dancer back. Oh no, <laughs> he's no longer safe. We lost another one. That's sad. I had to splurge. I have I was 90k under him. So I spent 60k from treasury to get the wizard. Tree on the line is expensive. Let's just have a turn without kick then. I have no idea how many will uh, promote. Lightning bolt on Eki. Score differential is a is a tiebreaker. <laughs> Happy to hear it, Schlaff. Uh, touchdown differential is used as a tiebreaker, so only on equal records, which might make me win the thing, I guess. Well, 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 well. Something like that. Like this. That. He's off the site. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay.
Yeah, this works for me. <laughs> we will see. We will see. Yep. Yeah. Agreed, Hercules. Agreed. What do you mean, no game? Five nil wins are fun. Oh, oh, gets the pal. He's fine. Safe. Um, <clears throat> I'll probably use it on whoever makes me have to roll a dodge. So he can two die the tree and then blitz my catcher or something. <laughs> Fireball an empty spot. That's actually kind of cool. this too if he wants. Hmm. I like the suggestion. I shall consider it. What, are you telling me the Mino is not blitzing? That's almost the first. I mean, I suppose the sensible thing would be to lightning bolt this guy on the off chance. Oh, the mino is blitzing, of course it is. <clears throat> lightning bolt this guy on the off chance I run into his team again. He's fine. He's fine. Oh, I do love the animation of that, of those tentacles flopping around. So yeah, now he gets to cuddle one of my players. Probably that guy. <laughs> yep. Is he going to foul the tree? Looks a bit like it. Fair enough, I guess. This is not a ghost. This is an agility movement, minus movement uh, warrior. Yeah, I think it's bolting time. Got one. Let's see. Do we escape the tentacles? 
We do. Should have probably stood up the tree before we did that. He didn't GFI. Did he? But he didn't need to leap, you mean. Yeah, that's true. It was just dodged. So... That's a bit iffy. Could blitz that. It's a one die, though. He is surfable. Yep. I did not like the idea of him surfing that. Okay. Okay. That worked. <sighs> he's on 12. He's on 12. Scoring next turn leaves me two turns for the 6 nil. With no wizard. I have not played with the chameleon skinks. No. Ooh, there's the pal. Okay, that's uh, not great. Safe again! Agility 5 elves are are kind of cheating. Just just a bit. I mean the Mino could double skull my tree again, you never know. Chameleon has movement seven, shadowing, pass block, I believe. Okay, here comes the claw punch. Oh, that's not a claw punch. Yeah, no. No, that's okay. I'd rather not stay next to more dudes. He does have a dodge to me, though. Yeah, 
Yeah, skinks don't need to be agility 5 to be uh, ridiculous. That's true. But for elves, the difference between 4 and 5 is massive. Two, four, six, eight. Two GFIs for this guy to score. Yeah, if he's out the way, then he can just walk straight to me but for now. Ah, never mind. Ah, ambitious. I like that. I mean, if he wants to make it to the 5-5, five, five, then he's gonna have to just a bit. Okay, good. good, good. Shitty screen still working-ish. Ooh, yes. Ooh, yes. Now, I'm going to try something, and it's a bit risky, but also a bit fun. Yeah, no, didn't work. Okay. Fine. Furmonger gets the touchdown. We have two turns for one more. Five nil. Stays out, and then mine comes back in. Kind of running out of players for the line, though. Something like that, then. So, <clears throat> uh, we have uh, well, uh, one just got injured, so now we have eight non loners and the tree. So, eight non journeymen, no, nine. We played with one journeyman this game, and we lost one lineman. Kiniwa here, armor six. That's a weird idea. So, yeah, no kick. Quick snap. So yeah, by now the uh, only on their turn. That's kind of cool, and only for skills and not stats. Ha! Huh. Yeah. I mean, it's a mess for decision making. I mean, in tabletop, it's it's hell, and even in in level two, going going for. Uh, if you're surrounded by four players and every time the opponent wants to do something, you have to choose which player you uh, has their skills copied. Okay, good. Double skulls to start things off. We will go up. Loner survives. Tree not blocking. Nice. Oh, sorry. Uh, Mino not blocking, of course. <sighs> 
pushing for his 5-1. Right, see you, Chester. Bye. Three, four, five, six. That's a one die, unless he uses his blitz on it, which he could. Or he could blitz this first and then get the two die from. Let's see. This one can reach. This one can reach. This one can reach. This one can. Kind of reach a little bit. That's good, that's just a push. It does get him the assist he needs for the two die on the tree. Good. Yeah, sure, this guy can one die punch. Oh, that's a two die? Oh, of course there's a two guy. He's also strength three. Mm -hmm. So close. And this tackles an annoying spot. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's two GFIs there. Yeah. We've got two turns, so we need to get in touchdown range. Tree would rather stay safe. Should have made the dodges first, really. Touchdowns happened, I guess. <clears throat> ah, come on. I fear for my thrower a bit. Yeah, he didn't reroll fill pick up several times actually. Yeah, he 
he's he's not doing too poorly. That's true. It's very true. Okay, never mind. Thor was fine. Hand off to the rookie warrior. Who can pass it there? Or not. Okay. There goes the last reroll. <laughs> oh, and the bounce is perfect. Okay, okay. So we pass to the catcher, who hands off to the other catcher. That's pretty easy. <laughs> Wasn't there a niggle somewhere? <laughs> yeah, just too far. Now nah, we can do it with the frenzy, I guess. <laughs> Thank you, Unredeemable. Okay, pick up with your hands. Pass with the pass. Catch with catch. Catch with catch. I'm not really giving myself much room to use those rerolls, am I? So, <clears throat> Eki does it again. That's a six nil. Would I rather lose the tree than the 15 SPP catcher? No. Trees are expensive and I'm not super rich. <laughs> nice one, Ernadar. I have made an 8 nil win. Once, maybe twice. I know I had one in Stunty League, but that was due to pitch clear touchdowns. I think I had an 8 nil, or maybe an 8 1 in. Um, Russian pass. Let's see. That that was a slon team. Rush and jump. Team. Oh, let's do the kick while we're at it. Show matches. And then. Oh, the 
doesn't say the opponent's name. No, that was a 7 nil. Oh, there's multiple 7 nils here. Oh, and an 8 nil. Okay, yeah. There was one 8 nil there and two 7 nils. <laughs> okay, catcher going down to mighty blow. At this point, I think I can use my apo if needed. Nope, not for a KO, obviously. Uh, the halfling positionals, I haven't played with them, and I... I remember being... Not super impressed, which is good, in a way, from a team design perspective. Um, <laughs> Fair point, uh, unredeemable. Suffer Mepples, thank you for the follow and welcome. That was a lot of star player points. Pity I lost a player, but you know, if that's all. Yeah, the catcher is nice as a projectile. We keep those winnings, so we have 140k in the bank. That's nice. The MVP does not go to... The oh, the MVP goes to the dancer. Lovely. Lovely. Um, they give them a little bit more interesting flavor, like just the fact that you have more than two positionals, you know, not 14 copies of the same player is nice. Um, and uh, <coughs> it doesn't make them decent, which is good because that's not the design problem they were there to fix, right? All right, so we have some skill rules to make. Uh, for this team very, very shortly. That's great. All right, all right, all right. Let's see if we can find those skill rules soon. Two of them, right? Eki and Corvain, if I'm not mistaken. So yeah, that still only puts us in second place behind Kazman, and there's only one more round to be played, which, um... Oh wow, nice. Nice, Corvain. Which means that I need Kazman to slip up in his last game. Let's see what that is. No, wait, there's two more to be played. Oh, okay. So we could still win this thing. Aha! Skill rolls. My favorite fumble team is the uh, the Slon team that actually does did those uh, eight nil and that in, that eight nil and those seven nils. All right, that's a normal. That's going to be leap for sure. That's a normal. That's probably just strip ball. Yeah, if I don't want it now, I'll want it soon. All right. Good. Let's fire Kiniwa before we forget. Two journeymen and a tree for the line.
Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this, remember to hit the thumbs up button. If you want to see more of my content, then do press the subscribe button and the little bell, and I'll see you around.